Hey guys, it's Allie and Mark from Bold North Frenchies. Just finished our workout and guess what? It is time to ship some semen. So we thought that we would show you how we do it. Uh, we ship semen for our studs worldwide. We've been doing it for many years and we have kind of perfected a system. Now, first of all, we have the freshly collected semen. This is from Reverend Fluffy, our full fluffy stud. Uh, we are using next generation semen extender. So could you open that, Mark? So the semen extender is going to come with uh, water, like a distilled water, and then a packet. Um, and Mark is going to open the packet and put it in the semen extender bottle. Now we like the Canine Express uh, kit. It's about $50 on Amazon. It's a little pricey, but then we know the semen is being shipped properly. Um, it can't get stopped by customs, um, so it's, it's pretty safe. It comes with two vials here, and you can go ahead and make the semen extender. And here is my um, syringe for the extender and my syringe for the semen. So I'm going to grab some scissors. And by the way, freshly collected semen stays good for about 15 minutes. So you do kind of have to get going when you collect it um, to kind of have your box out. And uh, excuse me, we have some friends that want to come out and play. You can probably hear them in the background. Hold on guys. So I'm going to take this syringe out. <laughs> There we go. Can you, can you please assist me? <laughs> um, and I'm going to cut my seat in the bag. As you can see, it's really big and it's hard to get a syringe down in there. So I'm going to show you the collection that Reverend, Reverend Fluffy gave us. All right. So I'm going to put the syringe in here and put the semen in the syringe. Now, when you're send sending semen extender, this is 72 hour extender, you need to put four parts extender, one part semen. So as you can see, Reverend gave us a good eight mil of quality semen, not prostate fluid. Um, you start, you collect, you wait a little bit, you put the bag on, and then when they start kind of uh, spurting out clear liquid, you know you're just getting prostate fluid at that point. Um, can you open that syringe? Okay, so we have our, two vials that we are going to send so people can do back-to-back -back readings at their vet. With ship semen, we only recommend doing TCI, which is transcervical insemination, please go shut that door, or surgical insemination, okay? So I mentioned four parts semen extender, one part semen. So we're going to do eight mil of semen extender and two mil of Semen. So right now we're actually at uh, eight and a half, right, Mark? Correct. So we're going to bring that down to six and a half. There we go. That's the actual semen. Here is the extender. Just like that. Now you're going to put the top on. And we always tape the top. You're going to put it up and down a couple times. Okay. And we're going to do the exact same thing. For a successful insemination, you really only need one mil of quality semen. People think that you need uh, quite a bit more, but really uh, there's a lot of swimmers in there. So again, added my semen extender, four parts. So eight mil and two mil is the um, formula that we are doing. So we are done with these syringes and we are going to take this vial just like this mark is going to treat them just to be on the safe side and by the way you're going to have a bunch of extender left don't save it this extender was originally created for horses so as you can tell you're going to probably get a lot more semen with horses so what you have left over as you can see here's you can even see horses on the um on the label it's exodus um you're just gonna throw this away. You can't reuse it, okay? So do, don't attempt to reuse it. So Mark has taped the first vial and I'm going to put it in. And as you can see, this little Canine Express box has some grooves. So I'm going to put the first vial in nice and securely. Thank you. And I'm going to put the second vial in nice and securely, okay? You can see just like this. Now you never wanna put ice directly on top of chilled semen. Okay, so I'm, it comes with this little styrofoam plate. 
and then it comes with this ice pack. So you always have to make sure, right when you get this box uh, in the mail, take the ice pack out and put it in your freezer. I'm going to put the ice pack in. It's a perfect fit. Can you grab the tape, please? Oh, you have it, okay. And we put the top on the cooler. Now, Mark always likes to secure it. As you can see, it kind of bounces up a little bit. So we always secure it. It does, by the way, I should say, come with lube and insemination tube gloves. But with our ship semen and our stud contract, ship semen should never just be naturally inseminated. It should only be TCI or surgical. The uh, efficacy of doing just regular insemination with ship semen is much lower. Um, so we don't even encourage this, people doing their own insemination. We we don't use that and we don't send it with. So we require all of our stud clients for their own good to have a successful breeding, TCI or surgical. So here we go, we're gonna take and put this box directly in, which I also love, you can see, all of the instructions are on this Canine Express box, it's awesome. Like I said, it's pricey, but it's awesome. Um, X-rays are not permitted on this. If you're going to ship this, um, we ship everything FedEx, but you can see it says,